What is up, Grapple Gang? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cartoon Cory, and we're going to be exploring some SpongeBob mistakes today, ones you've never seen before. Let's get started. Our first mistake can be found in the episode Krabby Land. In this episode, it's summer break, and Mr. Krabs wants to squeeze every penny out of the children who are out of school. So he takes a pile of rusty old junk and builds it into a playground. SpongeBob is put in charge, and as you can imagine, things get pretty messy, with SpongeBob even falling into a box of bowling balls at one point. Now during this scene, there is a subtle mistake that Nickelodeon must have overlooked as there are two Munros in the same shot, when of course, there really should only be one. Incidental duplications are fairly common in early seasons, but they are, ex but they are still extremely awkward to see. Here's a clip with audio. They seem to respond to me being in pain. They enjoy other people's misery. Hey, kids, check this out. When an Alaskan bullworm begins to take giant bites out of everything in Bikini Bottom in the episode Sandy, Spongebob and the Worm, Sandy volunteers to go after it, and Spongebob joins her for the epic journey. Now, this is a great episode, and it even served as the season finale of Spongebob Season 2. But as you can guess, it isn't perfect. Throughout the show's history, we've gotten a bird eyes view shot of Bikini Bottom multiple times, and it always includes this giant silver motor blade. However, during this shot of the episode, the tower is incorrectly colored as gold. I know this is very subtle, but literally every time before this, it's been silver, so this was definitely a mistake. It's not supposed to be gold. Here's a clip. Ah, uh, another peaceful evening in Bikini Bottom. Listen to the tropical tranquility. Uh-oh. Oh. We have the utmost confidence in you! Now, what was that idea of yours? Push! In the episode Gone, SpongeBob wakes up to find that all of his friends, everyone he's ever known in Bikini Bottom, has just gone missing, thus turning Bikini Bottom into a wasteland. This is problematic, but SpongeBob doesn't let it ruin his day with him pretending to live out the lives of everyone he knows. He pretends to be Sandy, pretends to be Squidward, and even pretends to be Mrs. Puff at one point, resulting in him finally getting his boating license, and his own boat. Now if you look closely, this boat, when we first see it, has a red seat. However, in a couple other scenes, we see SpongeBob's boat again, and it's now purple. The seat color has just changed, so definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. It's me. <laughs> It's okay, I'm licensed. La 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 la. La la la. Oh, yeah. Listen to that purr. La la la. In the episode Squid on Strike, Mr. Krabs begins to abuse his power a little bit, and this upsets Squidward so much that he decides to quit his job at the oppressive establishment and goes on strike. Being the good friend that he is, SpongeBob joins him, and this only makes things worse, as SpongeBob isn't a very good strike partner. He doesn't even really understand what a strike is and is only doing it so Squidward likes him. Now during this scene, where Squidward gets run over by a very hungry crowd, He's drawn with only three legs, when he's actually supposed to have four. 
because, you know, he's a squid. I'm going to show a clip in a moment with audio, but before I do, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Seriously. I'm Cartoon Cory, and we'll be back tomorrow with more SpongeBob mistakes. See you then. Oh, I could go for some fun. At the Krusty Krab! Hey, everybody. Let's go to the fun fair. <laughs>